from the Grant Rink at Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass. This is Nepsack Boys Hockey here on LSP. Today it's game six in round two of the 49th annual Lawrence Groton Boys Hockey Holiday Tournament between the Pomfret Griffins with a record of two and three and the Lawrence Academy Spartans with a record of three and two. Good afternoon, everybody. Sam Feely here with you, ready to bring you the play-by-play -play story. Daniel McAuliffe is on camera, and the Spartans and Griffins looking to get in the win column, avoid having to play the seventh place game with the 8.30 a.m. puck drop tomorrow morning here in the Grant Rink. Uh, L.A. falling to uh, Cushing 5-2, uh, actually, and... Pomfret really taking it to another unbeaten team in Holderness last night over at the Groton School. Final score in that game was 7-6. But uh, kudos to Pomfret for taking undefeated, the undefeated Bulls to the limit. But second game of this doubleheader will feature, uh, again, two, uh, two undefeated high-octane offenses in Holderness and Cushing. That is going to be a sight to behold. Starting goalies will be for Pomfret, number 29, Zach Bloxham. He's a senior out of Alexandria, Virginia. He will be opposed by Colin Beliveau, who had some uh, fine play yesterday in the uh, loss to Cushing, but just too much in the end, including two players with a brace for the Penguins. One player uh, scored both goals for L.A. last night, and it was the defenseman, Sean Leary, who scored scoring his first two goals of the season. In fact, Pomfret in white, LA in blue as we're about to get this one underway. Again, game two of our doubleheader. Expected 5 p.m. puck drop between the undefeated Holderness Bulls and Cushing Penguins. But let's whet your appetite right now with uh, some. More fine prep hockey action, Griffins and Spartans. I will adjust the uh, game clock in just a moment. I am aware it uh, crops a little off, but I will keep you abreast of the, uh, of the uh, time remaining Once, uh, until we get that adjusted. The clock is running in the rink for what it's worth. Fanned on at the top of the slot by Luke Corrigan for Palm Fritt and L.A., well, I'm not... That quick an uh, exit out of their zone. And here's Corrigan bringing it back into the zone over the left side. Bounce around at the top of the left wing circle and brought back to the Pomfret zone. Four check being applied here by Owen Leahy. And in front of shoulders man down, Brendan Hirsch gets a turnover, setting it on a tee for Leahy, but it was out of his reach, went through the blue paint to the near side. Another shot from the near side wall. It is saved. By blocks him and good bid there at the very end by McIsaac to induce a face off in the offensive zone. Left circle here. It will be Will McLean for Pomfret to take it against Florida man Spencer Hirsch. Hirsch wins it over to the left side. Now out to the left point. Along the half wall, curls around the end boards. Hirsch picks it up in Gretzky's office, trying to shed the defender on his back. That would be Ian Sherman, but able to get it back. Out to the right point, waiting. Now back to Hirsch, moving to the top of the right circle. I uh, believe it was knocked down by Bloxham, but L.A. takes another shot, and again, and actually, um, I'm going to take that. Uh, it is back Bloxham. I was going to say, I thought I had the wrong number for a moment, but Bloxham with a couple of nice saves on that. Sequence for LA, right circle face off, 108 gone by here in the first period. <clears throat> right circle face off, and once again, Hirsch to take it for LA. Pursuing it into Gretzky's off, off the face off, Ty Wood tried to get it out in front of the net and intercepted by the Griffins. On the left side, thrown in all the way in towards Beliveau, now has to sprawl to cover it up. And he does with 123 now gone by in the second, uh, first period, second round of the uh, 49th annual Lawrence Groton Boys Hockey Holiday Tournament. Again, folks, I will just the uh, the game clock as quickly as I can. For your own pleasure. 
early on the first period. We're not down to crunch time yet at all, don't worry. Haven't missed much. We almost missed the start of this game, having a little bit of technical difficulties with our HDMI cables. I think some of the stuff is starting to finally show its age, so it'll be on the shopping list uh, in our little hiatus between this tournament and when uh, Mass Bay basketball season resumes. LA going off for a change and intercepted in the neutral zone by the Spartans and thrown back in from just outside the blue line by McIsaac. Up the far side, off of the side wall. Uh, icing warning is up here. And, oh, and it is ruled icing. That is, uh, I'd say it's a pretty generous icing call there in favor of the Spartans because Leary was not exactly gunning it for that puck. And the puck itself had slowed down pretty considerably. Well, Spartans get, catch a break now. Can they score first like they did last night, in fact? Scored 38 seconds, not, not 28 seconds, 38 seconds into the first period of the loss to Cushing last night. Referee drags some traffic behind him as he drops the puck. It's won by the Griffins. Really around the corner boards by Tyler Bartlett. Out to the right point. Spartans keep it in the zone. That shot just whistles wide left. Barely so of Zach Bloxham. Again, the senior goalie out of Alexandria, Virginia, who's wearing the captain's C, too, for the Griffins. Up the middle of the ice and now over the left side and just throwing it in deep to go off for that much-needed change is Louis Marcelino, senior out of Pelham Manor, New York. Cross ice pass, here come the Spartans. They, oh no, they did not stay on side. Referee actually had waved off the on, off side, but the line's been on the opposite side. Caught the Spartans, uh, jumping the gun a little bit there. Back of the face off to the neutral zone and be Timmy Russell to take the face off for the Griffiths. And the, <laughs> the referee, I believe that's the same official too who, uh, who was uh, not happy with the wings, the last face off in the, uh, in the Bomford zone. Everyone's a little antsy, I guess. Farrell mishandles the puck, picked up by his number 24 counterpart, Wood. Tried to throw it towards the slot, but nobody home for LA. Brought up the ice, Russell over the left side. It's Romano working his way in, wrapping around, throws it off the side wall, and the Griffins unable to keep it in the zone. Back to the red line as the Griffins tag up, throwing it in from there is Farrell. Griffins completing a change here. Puck still in the offensive zone for Pomfret. Along the end wall, after the corner boards to the near side, trying to lift a stick is Cole LeBlanc. In the near right corner, uh, LeBlanc doesn't have it at the right point. Spartans able to lift it out of the zone on the diagonal. Tumbles back into the Pomfret zone. No icing here. LA gets some fresh legs back into their own end as Beliveau doing a three-man weave here with a couple of the skaters behind his own goal line. On the near side. Slow down here, Nigro. Along the goal line, Ellis wrapping around, backhanding it out to the right point. John Mara. He and his twin brother Colby out of mild stomping grounds, Lexington, Mass. They are both sophomores. These are from my twin brother. Over to the left side. Here's a blast from Colby. And able to secure it. And blocks them with 424 gone by here in the first period. Advertising opportunities are available on LSP. Sponsor our content for as little as $25 a spot. Whether you want to promote a business product or event or send a message of support to a player, team, or coach, email samfeelypbp at gmail.com for more information. It'll be a face-off in the left circle of the comfort zone. Again, 1336 to go in the first period. Again, we'll fix the uh, the view of the clock cam uh, as soon as we can. Gonna have to do it a maybe a bit, a little bit at a time. You know how OBS works. It's not still just zooming out. And at least in this regard, well, me, I don't know, man. <laughs> I could zoom out, reposition stuff. I'm just. We we all have a lot to do here in the holiday season, don't we? 
back at the Spartans end. Good work check here. Couple of whacks given by Drew Fecto. Fecto's a post-grad player from Allington. The Spy Pondas. I wonder why they're called Spy Ponders. Well, I mean, there's a body of water in Arlington called Spy Pond. Icing on the Griffins with 12.40 to go. I just did a read, so. Oh. Whoops, that's a bit much there. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll just disable the clock for now. You people mean the world to me. Shot for the half wall. Tip in on the doorstep for Wood, but couldn't get Wood on it. Wood in the corner. Hirsch. Wrapping around, centering pass, swing and a miss. Bearing in quickly, Julio Martino. And all the way back to the neutral zone. Oh, speaking of Wood, Wood lost his Wood there. Trying to get the puck back in the offensive zone. Look at Wood with the four check here. Rice able to get it out of the zone off the far side. Spartans get it back, muscling his way through. Hirsch, oh, it bounced off of Wood's skate. Picked up. Oregon off the sidewall. Well, not a great bounce there for the Griffins as they had to. <laughs> Still not. Not, some favor, not a lot of favorable bounces right now for the Griffins in the early going with 11.37 to go in the first period. Cross ice pass. He scores! Oh! Not a lot of favorable bounces so far for the Griffins. Except that one, that's for sure. Took a funny bounce off an LA stick in the right circle. And the Griffins lead 1 0. And it will be Timmy Russell, the junior out of Boulder, Colorado, picking up the tally. That goal comes at 6 31 of the First period, so 11.29 to go, first period, and Pomfret up, one nothing. Talk about puck luck, huh? Up the far side, slow down along the half wall, sent back in by Brady Ellis, reversing direction from behind his own net is Milrad. And we'll get it out of the zone to Pierce. Over to the right side, Pierce slows down. Looks like he's gonna try and take a shot from the half wall, instead dropped it off and sent back in deep. Out to the red line and over skating it. Literally bring his skate over the puck there when it was coming right to him. Jake Glickman, sophomore out of Miami Beach. Out of the far right corner, under 10 and a half minutes to go, first period. One nothing our score. Timmy Russell, the lone tally. Do we have an equalizer? You bet we do. Quick goal in transition. Owen Leahy, who had, talk about, you know, tough puck luck, had some bad luck in last night's game. The loss to Cushing, but he redeems himself here with the equalizer at 749. Back to where we started, 1-1. One, one. Ten, eleven to go. Leahy, senior out of Warwick, Rhode Island. 
And he re-enters the zone, looking to give the Spartans their first lead of the game. Takes a tumble, no penalty there. And unable to get it out to the right point. High stick is waved off. Comes right in on, oh, <laughs> just a, comes right in on Bellow, he covers up, and referee was quick to wave off any goal there, and now all the officials have to get in quick and try and untangle this mess. Some, uh, some networking, some jaw gymnastics after the whistle. 9.50 to go, first period. Right circle face off. Face off is won by the Spartans. Along the end wall at the far side, back towards the middle of the ice, but now stays on the far side. Hirsch can't corral, will poke check, trying to take it away from Marcelino, then comes back to the neutral zone and back to his own blue line for LeBlanc up the far side. Now the defenseman going off for a change now for the Griffins. They'll buy some time along the end wall in the LA zone. Try to throw it towards goal. Now the slot that goes wide right. Bounce nearly came right back in on Beliveau, but slowed down. Now out to the left point. Tap back in deep by Milrad. And a bump from behind. Takes the puck away from Heinberg and forces the Griffins to retreat. Thrown back up. Isis as the Spartans are getting fresh legs in the defensive zone. Here's a chance. Turned aside, maybe with the blocker there by Beliveau, but it's a kind of angle that you worry that will get hit the pipe and then ricochet back in. Chance from along the goal line. That was one spot where, Be uh, where Beliveau got beat last night on uh, the opposite end of the ice, but he covers this one up with 8.46 to go in the first period. Just a little over halfway through our opening stanza. When, when uh, LSP says we have something for everyone since 2011, we mean it. Sports, live events, pet sitting and walking, tech help, errands, and more. Go to Linktree LSP37 to view our thumbtack profile and everything out and all the other services we have to offer. And you can email yours truly for all the information as well. Spartans with possession in the neutral zone, getting bumped here. A little bit ahead of the red line, though, is... Pierce is trying to pick his man's pocket, but the Spartans get it in the offensive zone anyway. Up the far side, kept in at the right point. Nicely done by John Mara, but now the Griffins have possession on the right side, waiting to make sure that Romano didn't cross the blue line too early. Bartle, uh, Pierce, rather, and Spartans will bring it the other way, but cut off in the neutral zone. From behind his own blue line, Rice sending it up ice. Griffin's getting some fresh legs on the ice. Yeah, Martino was trying to handle that rolling puck through the left circle, and now the Griffin trying to get more fresh legs into the play and get a chance here, but now through the middle of the ice comes Giardina, drops it off, almost drifted out of the zone, but now over to Giardino, kicks it to a teammate, making the save, is blocked, somebody couldn't secure it, we play on with seven and a half to go, Cleared around the corner boards, but kept in at the left point. Now back the other way to the far side for Allen. Out to the right point. Leary holds. Tried to take the shot. It was deflected, and McNeil picks it up. Sends it the other way. Icing again on the Griffins with 7.18 to go in the first. The LSP store is now open. Get yourself a DVD or digital copy of most past LSP video broadcasts or... Check out our collection of merchandise, including shirts, mugs, stickers, and other stuff with my dog, Tina, the long arena on it, or some other words I probably said over the years on them. LSP37.creator-spring.com, the place to order for merch. And email yours truly for game videos. Off the side wall, Ooh, took a funny bounce, maybe off of would skate there and came back into the L.A. zone with about seven minutes to go here in the first period. We do have our clock cam with us, folks, just a uh, little uh, off kilter right now, so we'll get that up and running for the second period, we promise. At the left point, kept in inside the blue line by the Griffins, trying to get it in deep was McLean, but cut off. Here come the Spartans on the right side. Here's Hirsch, takes the shot. It is immediately blocked. Hirsch trying to 
Pick his man's pocket from behind. McLean gets it out of the zone. Off the middle of the ice. Pad save, Beliveau. Over the far right corner, then picked up along the half wall. Slowed down there. A moment there for Ty Wood to bring it into the zone, but couldn't do much with it. Griffin's with it on the near side. Sent in from the blue line, no offside here. It's about to hit six minutes to go. Spartans pick up the loose puck in the left circle, but a good job to force a turnover by Corrigan. Give the Griffin's offense another chance. Here's a blast from the left dot, wide right, a goal into the near right court. It's picked up by Bartlett. Griffin's getting more changes in front of the play. On the half on the far right corner, then intercepted, sent to the near right corner by the Spartans. And Griffin's player takes a tumble. We play on. Those goes into Gretzky's office and sent back to the corner. Dropped off to the right point for Bartlett. He takes another tumble. That's going to result in a penalty. To the bench goes Bloxham for the extra attacker. Six on five. The Spartans, though, touch it. And we have our first power play of the game. It's a hooking call at 12-36 of the first period. Hooking will be the call on LA's Brendan Hirsch, no relation. Left circle face off. Two-minute minor for hooking on the Griffins. Immediately get a chance. The pad saved by Beliveau. Spartans able to clear 200 feet all the way back. To the Griffins, and they'll start up the other way. And not for long. Reasonable start to the penalty kill for the Spartans. Already killed 35 seconds. Penalty kill that nearly coughed up a goal. Less than five seconds in. And here we go again. Here, boy, fetch. Halfway mark about of this power play. And aside from that quick blast off the faceoff win, great centering pass, too, and a good spot. But... Nothing to speak of, speak of for the uh, Griffins offense on this power play. Nothing to speak of really offensively since their first goal. They got the early, they got a one nothing lead. Spartans equalize, and and now the play's offside. Well, sometimes you kill the penalty. Sometimes a penalty kills you. Say it with me, Milberg. Are you down with the sound called LSP? Then follow and support us on the web. Linktree, Facebook, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. PayPal, Creator Spring, LSP37. Also find us on Thumbtack and TCG Player. And the referee's coming in here. Uh, uh, this is a different, a different referee but uh, from who was directing traffic earlier, but they are not messing around, clearly, when it comes to jumping the gun on these face-offs. 35 seconds left on the power play. Under four minutes left in the first period. 1-1 one, one our score. At the top of the slot, that shot immediately goes off the shins of Owen Leahy. And then sent 200 feet by the Spartans, which just barely wide left of goal. Boy, it's one way to buzz a goalie's tower. Blocks him, making sure he doesn't get burned on a shot like that. Up the far side, final 10 seconds of the power play. Fantastic kill by the Spartans. But remember, there's always those vulnerable seconds after the penalty expires as the Spartans are getting back to five on five. Right now, here's a hit from behind, no call there. And not every hit from behind is a penalty, but can be tough to judge sometimes. Especially when the player doing the check Bigger, tall, bigger and taller than the uh, player on the business end. Under three minutes to go. I mean, if that's against the boards. You're probably a little more likely to get that penalty called, but in the open ice, well, I don't know. I, I, it, it, obviously, there's 
a lot more to it than, I don't know, but it wasn't, didn't look hard enough. I don't know. I'm cavitating, I'm sorry. Bat along the half wall, after the right point. Spartans have it on the left side. Oh, that rolled a bit too far away from Leahy to try and make a bid for his second. About to hit two minutes to go in the first period. Sent back towards Gretzky's office and Leahy was still tangled up with McNeil in that corner. Sent out of the zone. Griffin's getting some fresh legs on the ice. He's bringing it back into the zone as Brendan Hirsch. Rolls through the neutral zone. Spencer without a stick. Uh, it wasn't Spencer without a stick. It was uh, Morgan without a stick for a moment. He was able to pick it up quickly as Spencer will go pursue this puck that bounced off the back of the cage but sent out of the zone by Milrad all the way back to the LA Blue Line under 90 seconds to go, first period. Out the far side, cut off at the red line and back to the Spartans' end. In the half wall, Spartans able to get it out of the zone. Saucered up the far side, chance maybe for Wood. His shot was deflected off the end glass. Picked up by the Spartans in the corner. Here's the blast on the right point. Misses the net entirely to the near side. One minute to go, first period. Lifted out of the reach of the leaping Maymaris. Way back to the LA zone, under 45 seconds to go. Thrown in from the red line. Picked up by Bloxham. Reversing direction. Rice back to the near side for LeBlanc. 30 seconds to go. Set up the far side. Bounces off of a stick and a skate at the red line. Now a chance for the Griffins to reclaim the lead before intermission. That shot by McLean goes wide left of goal. Spartans with a chance getting it out of the zone. Poked at the red line by LeBlanc. Spartans able to get it into the zone. Slow down along the half wall. Less than 10 seconds left. And this might just be, well, <laughs> it might be a situation. Just kill the rest of the clock. But here's a chance now for the Griffins before intermission. And the save by Beliveau. The back check slowed him down too. Went harmlessly through the slot to the near side. After one, Pomfret won. LA won. Take a time out. Back about 15 minutes with the second period from the Grant Rink at Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass. It's Nepsack. Boys hockey here on LSP.
Welcome back to the second period of Nepsack Boys Hockey here on LSP. Sam Feely here with you from the Grant Rink at Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass. Alongside Daniel McAuliffe on camera. 1-1, one, one, our score between the Pomfret Griffins and the Lawrence Academy Spartans in the second round of the 49th Annual Lawrence Groton Boys Hockey Holiday Tournament. Pomfret took the lead thanks to Timmy Russell, but Owen Leahy with uh, the equalizer. That is where we stand right now, 1-1. One, one. We're also we're had a bit of a wait here from uh, Lawrence Academy. Coming out of their locker room, and you know, not, a, not a whole lot of, you know, it's, you know, it's, it, it's tough coming off that loss to Cushing. I mean, Cushing's a great team, no doubt, but you know, you score that first goal 38 seconds in against a team that's undefeated. And you have to continue that momentum, but alas, it was not the case. Cushing and Holderness, second game of our doubleheader coming up right after this one. That will be fun. Pomfret and White, LA in red, as we get the second period underway. Uh, if you were expecting a 15 minute intermission, well that was on that was on me. It was only a 10 minute intermission. Uh, but we'll see. If anything change if that's gonna be different the next game, considering you know, the winner of that game will play for the championship tomorrow at the Groton School. By the way, uh, all games during this tournament uh, at the Groton School are going to be on their local live channel. So just go to the Groton School's website to find that. And we got a whistle here. As uh, looks like we're going to have, uh, is it a penalty? Or was it just a, uh, because Pingree's, uh, Pingree, Pomfret's the one who touched that puck, I believe, that led to the, that led to the whistle, but are we having four on four? Is that, uh, Yeah, that must be the case. All right, so matching minors is what's going on here. So it's going to be four on four, looks like, for two minutes. So it's uh, Aiden McIsaac going to the box, as well as Luke Corrigan for Pomfret. So it'll be four on four for two minutes. Back up the face off to the neutral zone. Looked like Corrigan got whistled for interference. Didn't catch the call on McIsaac, but again, four on four for two minutes here. Here's a shot from the edge, left wing circle, pad save made by Zach Blocks, and the rebound, unable to tap on, looked like a perfect setup there on that rebound after it bounced firmly, but slowly off his pad. Here's a chance, there's a pad save, speaking of which, by Colin Bellavo. And back the other way come the Spartans. On the right side will be Ty Wood moving towards the middle, looking for an angle. Takes the shot, it deflected wide left of goal off the end wall. 80 seconds left on this four on four. Top left circle, Mamaris to the top of the slot. That shot is immediately blocked. Puck tumbling out to the red line, then sent back in on the diagonal by Wood. Puck slowly moving in front of the crease. Great pressure here from Nigro to try and force the turnover and get a chance for his first goal of the season. No icing here. Sent all the way back to the LA zone. You could hear Bellavo begging for it. Now a turnover to the Griffins. Over to the right side as Marcelino gave up that opportunity at the top of the left circle after getting that easy turnover. Now Marcelino sitting up on top of the crease. Go out to the left point here. Waiting the shot. Stick of uh, Marcelino actually tipped that one wide left of goal. Didn't actually get on Beliveau. Now there's a chance. One on O. Oh, here's the blast. He scores! You don't secure... You don't get that tip on target. It'll be tough to continue the possession. And all the way at the other end, Last Giardina makes it 2-1, Spartans.
you don't let you're not letting guys out in a after a four on during a four on four, are you? What's I'm Oh, I the issue might have been that they let the clock run a little bit more. I wasn't looking at the clock of that eh, whatever. I don't know, man. I I heard them say five seconds. Oh, just freezing uh, freezing the clock for five seconds. I guess it's just simpler that way than try to add the time to the penalty. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't know, man. We're back to five on five. That's the important thing. Edge the left circle. That shot deflects wide of goal off the end wall. Spartans trying to pick it up in Gretzky. Now we got a whistle and we got a high stick. Is that the issue here? Is the 251 gone by in the second period? I don't know, man. They don't tell us much up here, I'll tell you that much. Don't have every bit of real time information you know, they have in the NHL or anything. Wall, uh, excuse me, not Walls, Rice by his own goal line. Griffin's able to get it out of the zone. Paddle over to the far side, no icing. Winning the race is Marcelino for Pomfret. Well, the Spartans get possession back on the right side. It's Hirsch. Not anymore. Near side. A move his way to the slot, but too many sticks of the way of Corrigan. Back to the far left corner, handling that fluttering puck. After the right point, here's the blast off a body in front and the save. By Beldo, a couple of bodies in front. In fact, McIsaac was trying to prevent Marcelino from getting the tip in. Here come the Spartans the other way. Two on oh, back in. He scores. Once again, transition offense for the Spartans, helping them extend the lead. And again, after the frustrating game, some bad luck. Last night for Owen Leahy, he's got a brace, and it is 3-1. Spartans now with three unanswered. They win the ensuing faceoff too, but now a turnover. One on O chance walking in off the bar and out. Oh my goodness. Brooks Pierce had Bellavo dead to rights and went off the side post on the nifty move, lifting it and couldn't get it over the goal line. And we play on. Boy, what an answer that would have been by the Griffins. Instead, we play on, still 3-1. And knowing how the Spartans have scored their two goals this period, count, I guess you count your blessings if you're the Griffins in that, you know, you didn't cough up a third one in transition. Set in from the red line as the Spartans will get a change. A little over five minutes gone by here in the second period. Spartans with two to make it 3-1. Giardina and Leahy with the tallies this period, and Leahy with his second of the game. Tumbled out to the red line, dumped back towards goal, but intercepted by Ethan Chiweshi. Tries to shed the defender shoulder to shoulder with Colby Mara. Neil bringing it in, but that's cut off. Nigro bowls over his man. 
Shot is immediately blocked. Cross ice pass, picked up by Neal, re-enters his own, just lifts it in from the blue line. Six minutes gone by here in the second period. Back towards goal, but picked up by the Griffins around the corner board to the far side for Glickman. All the way back to the Spartans' blue line. Leary who had two, had both of LA's goals yesterday, his first two goals of the season, in fact. Now over the right side, shot from the edge of the right circle. Save made by Blocks on the rebound, swept out to the far side wall by the Griffins, but not out of the zone just yet. Off the corner boards, there is Leary walking the blue line. One of his goals yesterday was a power play goal, too. Working his way in, wrapping around. Oh, he was trying to Mike leg him, but he lost the handle. Far right corner, out to the top of the slot. Here's the blast tip in wide left of goal. Another opportunity. Is the puck still available as a question? It is covered up by Bloxham with 11.04 to go. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Meeting of the minds here after the whistle. Advertising opportunities are available on LSP. Sponsor our content for as little as $25 a spot. Whether you want to promote a business product or event or send a message of support to a player, team, or coach, email samfeelypvp at gmail.com for all the info. 3-1 our score. Spartans on top. 11.04 to go in the second period. Left circle faceoff in the Griffin zone. Kind of... Another Spartans player with a brace tonight. This time it's Owen Leahy, who again came close to scoring a couple of times last night. That shot is sticked aside by Beliveau. Kind of a frustrating night for Leahy, as I've alluded to, but redemption today with his brace. Scored the equalizer in the first period. And... Giardina's goal stands as the game winner right now. The insurance goal by Leahy. Give the Spartans a little breathing room. Over to the left point, there is Maimaris. He scores! The hits keep on coming. Maimaris with the, act, with the initial blast, but it might be Florida man who ends up getting the goal, Spencer Hirsch making it 4-1. We're still not halfway through the second period either. Still 10.23 to go, and the Spartans, I mean, there was, uh, we had to wait a little while for the Spartans to actually come out of the locker room. I mean, my estimation is that Robbie Barker was just really trying to Light a fire under his team after, you know, disappointing loss to Cushing last night. And even though you were through one level at one with Pomfrey, it's like maybe the estimation is, you know, you guys should be, you know. We got run out of our own barn last night. Let's run these guys out of our own barn this afternoon. They're doing that so far here in the second period. They have now scored four unanswered since... Timmy Russell's opening salvo in the first. Under 10 minutes to go. Second period, and the Lawrence Academy Spartans up 4-1 on the Pomfret Griffins. Out to the neutral zone, then sent back in from in front of the red line by McIsaac. Leary reaching out, no hand pass. Brought back into the zone, that's tipped wide right a goal. Good look there by Luke Allen looking to join the party. Play on the brakes, Leary, he had two yesterday. Got a couple of favorable bounces towards goal there, but didn't get past Bloxham. Please note, folks, that any scoring decisions that I make are 100% unofficial. Outlet pass, space up the middle, off the right post and then carried away by the Griffins. Oh, it was a great look for Brendan Hirsch. And that bounce off the post with a teammate crashing in on the right side. Usually that's an easy one to pocket. To make it, it would have made it 5-1, but great recovery by the Griffins skaters. This will, however, be icing on the Griffins 
with 8.38 to go in the second. When I say LSP has something for everyone since 2011, folks, by God, I mean it. Sports, live events, pet sitting and walking, tech help, errands, and much, much more. Find us on Thumbtack through our Linktree link, Linktree LSP37. I don't know how to pronounce it. Linktree.ee, I don't know. Linktree LSP37 or email yours truly for all the information on what we can do for you. Off the side wall. Doesn't get as far as the red line. Sent back in. Here's Florida man nearly getting his second. The body save by Bloxman. Back the other way come the Griffins. Putting on the brakes along the half wall. It's been a while since they've gotten it into the offensive zone. But they score. They're back within two. Ethan Chaweshi, the junior out of Stamford, Connecticut. Tips it in. Griffin still in this one, still plenty of time. 4-2, 8-14 to go here in the first, a second rather. I, this is the one thing I do every game. I, <laughs> uh, and it doesn't matter what sport either. First inning, first period, first quarter. First round of the turn. I'm trying, folks. <laughs> Griffins get the puck in the offensive zone off the face. I'm going to get within one. Tip in attempt and the save by Bellavo. Well, um, remember that after the Spartans took the lead in this period. They really wanted to put their foot on the gas offensively right off the, the next face off and they were showing that throughout but Pomfret now sticking it to him here. The same kind of intensity. Didn't get a tally on that entry but let them know, let the Spartans know they're still around here. Oh, that was tipped wide left, put on a tee for Leahy, and that would have been a Hattie. Perfect response, though, if he could have gotten that one in, though. Great setup by Allen. Spartans still with possession. Dropped off along the half wall and then dumped back in into Gretzky's office. I think his own stick to get the keep the play moving here. Out to the left point, cross ice pass to the right side. Leary takes the well, slow moving pass, trying to center it maybe, and intercepted by the Griffins as they re enter the zone and getting his stick in the way is McIsaac to deflect that one out of play with exactly seven minutes to go here in the second, second period. The LSP stores now open. Get yourself a DVD or digital copy of most past LSP video broadcasts or one of several different designs of merchandise, including some stuff with my dog, Tina, the long arena on it, or some words I probably said on them. LSP 37. That creator springcom a place to order for merch. Email yours truly for game videos. Here's a blast on a turnover from the right point. Goes wide left of goal. Sent back in from the blue line. Bounces off the back of the cage. Trying to get in position is McNeil, but taken away by the Spartans on the near side. Cut off at the left point this time. Bound along the half wall. Spartans looking for a way out. Sent back in from the neutral zone. Bounces in front of goal, but picked up by Neal. Sent up the near side for Ellis. Icing is waved off. Now it's picked up by the Griffins. Rice, long zone goal line, but turns it over to the Spartans in the corner with under six and a half minutes to go. Out to the right point, walking the blue line, back to the edge of the right circle for the shot that goes wide left of goal. Neal's there for at the left point, sends it in, the pad saved by Bloxham. Another chance, Bloxham turns it aside. Over the left point, Neal with a blast. Tipped aside again by Bloxham. Off the half wall. Griffin's unable to clear just yet. 
Sent back in, nice little tap there by Nigro to get it in deep. And remember, the teams are changing into their offensive zones this period. So the Spartans are able to get some fresh legs into the, into the zone, but Griffins will clear it all the way back in on Beliveau. Now the Spartans with a chance, another one on O. Try to shed the defender and the back check by Milrad was enough to slow down that play and allow the Griffins to get back defensively. Get the takeaway, now re the zone on the right side, shot through three blue jerseys and still got it on target anyway. Beliveau with the save. Off the left side, it's Ty Wood. Five minutes and change to go. Second period, Spencer Hirsch backhands it through the slot. He's already got one. Out to the right point, tip in, opportunity goes through the slot to the near side again. At the right point, that shot was chopped, tumbled into the slot, sent all the way back. Icing with under five minutes to go. Are you ready, kids? Are you down with the sound called LSP? Then follow and support us on the web. Linktree, Facebook, YouTube, PayPal, Creator Spring, LSP37. Also find us on Thumbtack and TCG Player. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, we now offer YouTube memberships. $4.99 a month gets you uh, uh, discounts on both shipping and purchases at the LSP Spring Store. Also allows you to uh, submit suggestions for future coverage or content and more benefits to come, I promise. By the way, those that shipping discount you get uh, each month pays for itself. And there will be a new code uh, for, free sh uh, for free shipping and a minimum 10% discount only for members every month. There's already a there'll already be a general free shipping and purchase discount for everyone, but members get extra discounts. Follow the right circle and tied up on the end wall. Forgot to mention the head little more specifics there that might make it a little more enticing for y'all. Support your local loudmouth and his long arena. And his wife, of course. <laughs> All right. Under four minutes to go. Yeah, along the half wall. Pad save. Rebound opportunity. Blocks with another one. Another chance. It hops over the back of the cage. Big hit in the corner by Giardino, who already has one. Goal made it, his goal made it 2-1. At the time, Leahy's second of the game currently stands as the game winner right now for LA, but still a lot of hockey to be played. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's not a penalty, it's just a hand pass call. Uh, someone from the Pomfret contingent wanted a penalty on LA there, and they got the whistle, but it is not a power play for the Griffins. It's a hand pass on the Spartans. I don't bring the face off in the offensive zone with 3.21 to go here in the second. Face off in the right circle is won by the Spartans, guided ahead by Colby Mar to the near side, and then a tic-tac-toe to Hirsch. Bring it in the zone, throwing off the side wall to ensure it gets in the zone without committing an offside. Hirsch, two Pomfret jerseys in his way, tried to Reverse direction, drop it off for a teammate, but here come the Griffins, here's a blast, pad safe. Hard rebound off of Beliveau there, but no one there to slam it home for Griffins to get back within one. Off the far side, intercepted under three minutes to go. Top of the slot, here's the shot, pad save again by Beliveau. In the near left corner, Mason Strong backhands it out to the left point, off the side wall. As goes in aggressive office, Mara muscled up his man from behind to prevent him from gaining possession. Lifted out of the zone by Ty Wood, but cut off in the neutral zone by the Griffiths. Thrown right in on goal. Beliveau with the save. Dumped off on the near side. Redirected into the zone from the red line by Strong. Junior out of Conception Bay, South Newfoundland. Under two minutes to go. Having flashbacks to 
be sailing along the coast of Newfoundland, Labrador, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick and as a kid. With my dad. I don't think we ever went there. I can't remember. We uh, did gander towards Gander, Labrador. Never seen the musical come from away about the uh, about the Gander Goose Bay, but you know, small town in Labrador, not even Newfoundland, Labrador. Or one province, but it's a small, a very small town in a very small, remote Atlanta Canadian town that took in a number of planes that had to be grounded that were in, in mid-flight on 9-11. It was just an unbelievable effort by a tiny remote community. Under a minute to go here in the second period, 4-2 our score. Icing on the Griffins here with 28.9 to go. And just a reminder, folks, that coming up after this game, we'll have our second game of our doubleheader here on day two of the 49th annual Lawrence Groton Boys Hockey Holiday Tournament semifinals. Uh, Hornets Bulls and the Cushing Penguins, two undefeated teams, two high-octane offenses. Cushing beating L.A. 5-2 last night, and Holderness beating Pomfret 7-6 last night. That should be a barn burner. Again, 5 o'clock Eastern is the scheduled puck drop for that one. Not circle face, although we've got a little bit of a hold up here as the referee is talking to the Pomfret bench. Uh, talking to coaches and the players there about something, I guess. Coach Matt Govals was upset about. I'm not exactly sure, but Anyways, 15 seconds left. Spartans would like to get that lead back up to three before intermission as they have possession. In the offensive zone, and we got a penalty, and the linesman is freezing the changes here. I believe it's, well, I don't know. He didn't exactly signal a hand pass, but he's freezing the subs here, and we're going to have the faceoff in the offensive zone, and now, all right, I don't know, man. Again, not everything is communicated up here to me, alas. Nigro to take the face off for LA. Wins it back to Leary, his shot is blocked. He gets it back, takes another shot, deflects behind the cage, two seconds, one, and that will do it for the second period. Spartans with, uh, with three in the second, and the Cowboys are four unanswered after Russell's Opening marker in the first. You got Giardina and uh, Giardina, Hirsch, and Leahy each with a goal here in the second period. But Ethan Chiweshi with his uh, tally keeps the Griffins alive. Take a timeout back about 10 minutes or so. The third period from the Grant Rink and Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass. Again, your score the Pomfret Griffins train the Lawrence Academy Spartans 2 uh, 4 2. This is Nepsack Boys Hockey here on LSP.
Welcome back to the third period of Nepsack Boys Hockey here on LSP. Sam Feely here with you from the Grant Rink at Lawrence Academy in Groton, Mass, alongside Daniel McAuliffe on camera, and it is 4-2. The Lawrence Academy Spartans on top of the Pomfret Griffins in the second round of the 49th annual Lawrence Groton Boys Hockey Holiday Tournament. You're uh, tuning in right now after uh, the completion of the Dexter Proctor game. Uh, how you doing? And, uh, stick around because we've got uh, a good one coming up next between uh, two unbeaten high octane offenses. It'll be Holderness and Cushing dropping the puck uh, a little after 5 p.m. Right now, 4 2, the Spartans on top of the Griffins. About to start the third period. It's uh, Timmy Russell and Ethan Chiweshi, the goals for Pomfret. Uh, two goals for Owen Leahy, one for Spencer Hirsch, and one for last Giardina to this point. Uh, Leahy is now up to three goals and nine points on um, the season. This And, and by the way, this, this does not account for... Uh, any um, uh, any assists? Don't have the assist tallies, but uh, Leahy now up to three goals in the season, nine points. Giardino with his uh, team leading, actually fifth goal. It's LA is in blue, and Pomfret is in white. Uh, Spencer Hirsch with his third goal of the season. Again, Giardino, the junior out of Reading, Mass, with his team leading fifth goal of the season. Mentioned uh, earlier uh, how Sean Leary had. Two, had both goals yesterday, two goals for LA. Those were, those were his first two goals of the season as Leahy again looking for the Hattie. He came close late in the uh, thir uh, second period. Uh, Leahy, uh, Leary has two goals uh, on uh, last night. No defensemen other than Leary or McIsaac even have any points to this point in this season. McIsaac entered play, entered yesterday's game with one goal and two assists. But again, it was just McIsaac and Leary who even had any points among defensemen for the Spartans during this weekend. And Giardino again with his fifth goal of the season earlier. It's a team high right now. Spartans re-enter the zone right on the doorstep and once again, the save by Bloxham. It was a good job, though, by uh, the Griffins in the second period. You know, Spartans had scored four on answer. Remember, Pomfret scored the first one of the game. L.A. tied it before the end of the first period. And then three on answer, three in a row to start the period by uh, L.A., but the Griffins did a good job not letting L.A. run away with it. Chiweshi, oh, and we got a stoppage here. Is uh, Some friendly fire here. And the, uh, <clears throat> and the Pomfret end is Romano barreled into his own goalie, blocks him, but it looks like everyone's okay. They just got to reset the net here. But it was a good job by Pomfret to, you know, not let L.A. run away with it at that point. Chuesha gets the goal to get him back within 4-2. And then off that faceoff, Pomfret comes out with even more urgency, but L.A. weathered that storm and just tilted the ice back the other way. The rest of the second period... But Bloxham and company able to stay within reach of the Spartans despite that quick reversal of the momentum after Pomfret's goal to get back within two. Still at 4-2 right now. So nothing since Chiweshi's goal. Two minutes and change gone by here in the third period. Lawrence Academy entering play at three and two and Pomfret entering play at two and three. Giardina already with one tonight. Trying to drop it off for Brady Ellis. Everyone taking a spill there in the corner. Ellis and Giardina staying with it. A little bumper behind by Barlow. Out to the top of the left circle and that 
is immediately blocked. No right in the right place at the right turn. Uh, back the other way comes Pierce. Well, Pierce will just dump it in from the red line, spin off and go to the bench. Fresh legs. On the near side, LA re-enters the zone and a back check by Heinberg on his number 23 counterpart, Brendan Hirsch. And prevent Hirsch from winding up for a big bomb there. And off the middle of the ice, try to, to pass over the left side, did Heinberg, but pass went to flight over the near side. Griffin still have possession though. There is Heinberg along the goal line in the corner, dumping out to the near side. Spe uh, Brendan with the bump along the end wall, uh, side wall rather. And now here come the Spartans on the right side. There's Leahy, just wide left of goal. Coming that close again to a hat trick. All the way back to the Pomfret end. Stick in the way to slow that one down, Allen. Just now we got the zone for now, but thrown in from the red line. Spencer Hirsch tagged up in time. He's got one. Trying to take it away here, and Gretzky's off. To set up a chance for another, but Sherman takes it away. Up the far side will be McLean moving towards the middle. Gives it up to the right side. Centering pass behind its intended target in front of the crease and back the other way. Come the Spartans. Made some space on the left side. Oh, there is the icing call. Oof, Ty Wood trying to turn on the Jets there to win the race to the dots, but not in time. We'll send it all the way back to the LA end with 421 gone by here in the first, third. I did it again. Advertising opportunities are available on LSP. Sponsor our content for as little as $25 a spot. Whether you want to promote a business, product, or event, or send a message of support to a player, team, or coach. Email samfeelypbp at gmail.com for all the information. Face off in the LA zone, won by LA. Out to the far right corner and sent up the far side off the sidewall and picked up in the neutral zone by LeBlanc for Pomfret. Puck slowly moves through the neutral zone back towards the LA blue line. And now here's Spencer Hirsch on the right side against the entire Pomfret student body. And able to get it in the near left corner for Wood. Trying to get it back to Hirsch, but cut off along the half wall by Romano. Now on the right side, it's Timmy Russell and the play is offside. <clears throat> also on the first goal of the game for the Griffins. Looking for number two, or at least an assist there on that two on one. But a little too eager there. Face off in the neutral zone. 13 11 to go in the third period. Spartans looking to. Get their fourth win of the season, and the Griffins are looking to avoid going to f two and four. A lot can change in a short amount of time in a, in a short prep hockey season. Back to the LA Blue Line. Near side, throw off the side wall from the red. Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh, okay. There was an icing warning from the lines that looked like it had been sent in from the red line. Referee waved it off because he had seen Giardina come in at the last minute on the, in the back door, no less. And now Pomfret are guilty of icing. And with five and a half gone by here in the third, be in an offensive zone face off for the Spartans. Picked up along the end wall, the face off by Heinberg. Stepping in front of him is Leahy. Again, looking for his third of the game, looking for that hat trick. There's Leary walking the blue line, takes the shot right into the gut of blocks him, and he hangs on to it with 12.08 to go.
Out to the right point. Another off zone face off for the Spartans, but Griffin's able to get it out of the zone. Fair taking on Groton right now in the other set, other winner's bracket game of this uh, 49th annual Lawrence Groton Boys Hockey Holiday Tournament. The winner of that game will face the winner of the Cushing Holderness game for the championship. And I believe that's uh, 11 a.m. puck drop. Is that right? over at the Groton School. And all games at the Groton School can be seen on their local live channels. You can find through local live's website or through the Groton School's website. Again, it's gonna be Thayer or Groton taking on either Holderness or Cushing for the championship tomorrow over at the Groton School. Right on the doorstep and somehow didn't get it through the five hole of Bloxham. And again, Bloxham getting support from his skaters there defensively right on the crease. There's hardly any way a goalie can keep a play like that out of the back of the net by his lonesome. You need the team defense in that situation. Thrown in from the neutral zone, and Blocks will cover up that one with 10.28 to go. Tomorrow morning, 8.30 uh, a.m. puck drop for the seventh place game, and that will be between the loser of this game and the loser of the Dexter Proctor game. Ten thirty a.m. puck drop after that will be the third place game between the loser of the game that falls this one, Holderness Proctor, a uh, Holderness and Cushing rather, wrapping around with a wide open left side of the net. And speaking of team defense, skaters in the way there to prevent chance for the Griffins to get within one. That's turned aside by Belvo. So third place game, 10.30 a.m. here will be the winner of uh, the loser of the Hornets Cushing game and the loser of the Thayer Groton game. Although my question is, Did Groton come here? I want to play the game at their barn. And if, you know, LA wins this game, they'll, have, they'll play the fifth place game, which ostensibly would be at Groton, where they play it here. I mean, you know, times the venue subject to change, I'm sure. I'll, I'm sure Kevin Potter will give me the updates when necessary. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Swing and a miss on that shot, the left dot. Spartans looking for a way out of the zone. They are able to guide it out. The puck tumbling a bit too much to keep the line moving, and Ryan Walls cutting it off, bringing it into the zone. At the far side wall. Uh, not Ryan Walls, excuse me, Isaac Rice. This isn't the second, well, the second time I've done that, confusing Wallace and Rice and the two number twos for the respective squads. We're more than halfway through this third period. No scoring in this th th period. Huge hit in the neutral zone. No mistaking Isaac Rice on that one. Absolutely trucking Luke Allen. Spartans able to get it back in the offensive zone, but a couple of stick checks will prevent a chance for Wood. Along the red line, over the far side, across the blue line, Spartans somehow staying on side there. Had both Wood and Hirsch very close. Being offside as that shot is blocked, drops in the far left corner. Hirsch continues to pursue it. Wood tried to reach for it, couldn't get it. Hirsch trying to press his back against the glass there to maybe prevent that 
Puck from going up the far side, but Griffin's able to clear and get some changes. Here's a blast from the left point, and the save, once again, by Bloxham with 7.21 to go. When I say LSP has something for everyone since 2011, I, by God, mean it. Sports, live events, pet sitting and walking, tech help, errands, and more. Find our Thumbtack page through Linktree LSP37 or email yours truly for all the information you need to let us help you with whatever you need. Left circle face off with 7.18 to go. One by the Griffins. Looking for a way out of their zone. Down two here. And the Spartans were down 4-2 after two themselves, but and couldn't end up getting any closer in a fifth goal by the Penguins late in the third period. Removed any doubt from that game. So is great teams as Holderness and Cushing are. Now credit to both Pomfret and LA for staying close throughout the games, especially when it looked like And this game has played out pretty similarly to the L.A. Cushing game last night. The team that would you think is the underdog scores first and a big run by the favorite. Trying to dance around his man as Leahy is again looking for his Hattie. Here's a blast from the left circle and again the save by Blocks. So this game has played out eerily similar. Eerily similarly to last night's game. The underdog, in the, you would, the team you would think is the underdog in this case, Pomfret scores first. Then the other team goes on a big run, four, four, and, on, four and answered by the Spartans. But then Pomfret gets another goal to get back within two. And it's been just a quiet third period since. If LA scores a fifth goal with three minutes and change left. A nice little move through the circle, backhand set up on T. Puck still bouncing in front of the crease and Pomfret again dodging above the team defense, able to snuff out the chance for the Spartans. Chueshi, who had that second goal for the Griffins, able to guide it up the ice into the offensive zone. Back of the blue line, under five and a half to go. Chueshi runs into his man, goes off for a change, and that is out of play, and we'll face off with 5.14 to go. The LSP store is now open. Get yourself a DVD or digital copy of most past LSP video broadcasts or one of several different designs of merchandise, including stuff with my dog, Tina the Long Arena on it, or some words I probably said on this here YouTube channel on it. LSP37.creator-spring.com, a place to order for merch. Email yours truly for game videos. Fresh piece of rubber right now for uh, this face off. 5.14 to go, third period, 4 2 our score. Same way we started this third period. And, and again, playing out quite similarly to the Cushing LA game last night. Off the side wall. Clock is your friend right now if you're LA. Obviously, you want to avoid committing an icing there, but get the right angle off the sidewall. And look at look at Martino with the four check here. Now Hirsch coming in, buying just bleeding some more time off the clock. It's almost like a penalty kill, except it's obviously obviously not the case. Along the half wall. Drops in the corner, there is Hirsch, drops it back to Wood, who gives it back to Hirsch. Back hands it out to the left point, four and a half minutes to go. Hirsch, near side, takes the shot, it's deflected into the rafters. 4.25 to go. A one, a two, a three. Are you down with the sound called LSP? Then follow and support us on the web, Linktree, Facebook, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, memberships, by the way. PayPal, Creator Spring, LSP37. And we're also on Thumbtack and TCG Player if you're into that sort of thing. Left circle face off with 4.25 to go. 
Won by the Spartans. Over to the right side, walking in. Leary scores! Sean Leary, no goals at all entering this weekend. Now three in the last two games. 5-2 Spartans. Four nineteen to go. Thirteen forty one the time of that game. That goal is pretty close to the time when Cushing scored their goal to put it out of reach. And oh, we got the puck stuck between the net and the glass here behind the goal. I mean, given the amount of work we see being done in that area. Pretty simple, uh, pretty simple body check or dislodge that. And we'll, hey, well, you like playing pinball? How about a bonus puck? <laughs> Over the right side, Leary again. Nearly a second in less than 30 seconds. I think about 20 seconds it would have been. <laughs> and remember. Remember, he and McIsaac are the only he and McIsaac are the only LA defenseman so far this year with points at all. And oh no, I think Leary is going to the box. Uh, is he going to the box? I believe he is. Oh, so, uh. can't say he's had a dull weekend. That's for sure. Holding is the call. But again, Leary with two assists through the first four games and now has three goals in the last two. And we're gonna have a timeout now uh, with 3.44 to go and Pomfret down by three, but about to go on a power play. I don't know, do you believe in miracles? Uh, I believe that our next game is gonna be right after this one when it'll be Holderness and Cushing Facing off uh, with the winner going to the championship game of the 49th annual Warren Scrotton Boys Hockey Holiday Tournament. Two undefeated teams, two high-octane offenses. Pay for the seat, but you'll only need the edge. The price of the seat is free as well. Right here on this here YouTube channel, you can watch live and on demand any time of day. So 5-2 our score, 3.44 to go in regulation. A holding penalty on Sean Leary. It's going to give Pomfret a power play. Pomfret using their timeout. Down three. About to go on this power play, but it's going to say, sending six skaters out, but they also had the goalie block some out there, and now they do, in fact, pull blocks them. So six on five. You gotta score, you gotta score here quickly if you are Pomfret. Top of the slot, blast with the edge of the left circle, off the end glass and all the way back to the LA zone. Remember, oh, puck was rolling out the edge, nearly went straight to the empty net, but Rice picking it up. Just in the tete, nick of time. On the right side, got it into the zone. Got to score quickly here. Remember, with the power play, LA doesn't have to worry about icing. Six on four right now for the Griffins. Down three, and that pass a little too strong. Force the Griffins to tag up against Rice. Look, 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 look a little jelly like there as he was trying to get in position to send that one in. Big collision in the corner. Oh my, this is on LA. If this is on LA, and it looks like it is, six on three, what a chance for the Griffins. The Spartans finally tag up, uh, Spartans finally touch it up. 57 seconds left on the holding minor to Leary. But now with 
2.40 to go. It's going to be six on three, and we might have more. More than just a minor here. Well, maybe. Well, hang on. Nobody's gone to the box yet for L.A. Yeah. What? What? I'm. Oh. Uh, yeah, someone's got to serve it. So, so they got to put. Someone gets. Might have been a misconduct also called. But I think. Do we have to have the penalty put on the scoreboard first? Um, because Brady Ellis is serving is in the box. We got to put the penalty time up here on the scoreboard. I was only a minor. Okay, it was only a minor. All right, I waiting that long. I thought there was going to be a major involved as well, but here's a chance. Pad safe. By Belleville. So it's six on three for 41 more seconds. Top of the left circle. Handled a bit too much there and sent all the way back and just wide right a goal. Heinberg played with the puck a bit too much. Re entering the zone on the left side. It's Marcelino, left point. Top of the right circle, back to Marcelino for the one-timer. Off the end wall, rebound, and the save by Bellavo. 14 seconds left on the Leary holding minor. And 118 left on the penalty being served by Ellis. And 157 left in the period. 5 2. Now, you, uh, you got to capitalize the next 14 seconds if you're Pomford, if you're going to have any hope. Out to the right point, they do win the faceoff. Along the half wall, can't waste any time. Marcelino waits. Blast from the left side is scuffed. Right on the doorstep, they score. There it is. However, it was as the, well, Leary's out. The question is, was that during Leary's penalty or had Leary's penalty expired by then? That's the thing we got to figure out. Looks like it's Chueshi's goal. That'll be his second. But if that goal was scored after Leary's penalty expired, that's back to five on five. That's what we got to sort out here. So are we back to five? Uh, are we back to five on five is the question. And the answer is no. It did happen during Leary's penalty. So there's still power play time for the Griffins to work with. At the very end of Leary's penalty, they get it, and they still have six on four. Showeshi with his second, but the Spartans try to end it wide right a goal. There is still hope for the Griffins. 38 seconds left on the penalty to Ellis. Rice over to the left side. Chueshi at the left point. Top of the slot over the left side. Mishandled. Here's Leary. Had two yesterday. Has two today! Six three. Sean Leary. Four goals in the last two games for a defenseman. 54.4 to go. Sometimes sports are about damage control. 
how you respond to adversity, not just over the course of the game, but within a season. Got to snuff out the other team's momentum as quickly as you can. And the Spartans have shown the ability to do that multiple times today. It's kind of halfway between today and tonight. <laughs> that, uh, that last line. <laughs> I mean, is it, I mean, it gets late early out here at this time of year. Now the Spartans are going to pick up the win. They will go to four and two, and they will play in the fifth place game, which is currently scheduled for so early in the morning over at the Groton School. They'll face Poffer will play in the seventh place game here tomorrow. 8.30 a.m. puck drop at the Grant Rank here on LSP. But L.A. picks up the win, 6-3. Braces for Owen Leahy and Sean Leary and a goal each for last year, Dina and Spencer Hirsch. A brace for Ethan Chaweshi and a goal for Timmy Russell, the scoring for the Griffins. L.A. is 4-2, Pomfret is 2-4. So with that said, this has been a presentation of LSP, something for everyone for over a decade. Copyright 2023, unauthorized redistribution of any portion of this broadcast without the express written permission of LSP is strictly prohibited. A reminder that you can advertise on future LSP content for as little as $25 a spot. Hire us to work your next live event or whatever other needs you need handled by visiting our Thumbtack page or emailing yours truly at samfeelypbp at gmail.com. You can also buy a DVD or digital copy of this game, the LSP Store. You can email me for that or you can check out our exclusive merch collection on our Creator Spring page, LSP37 on Linktree, Facebook, YouTube, PayPal, Creator Spring. And you can also find us on Thumbtack again and on TCG Player. And don't forget our YouTube memberships, $4.99 a month gets you exclusive discount codes uh, and more to be added soon. Once again, the final score from the Grant Rink at Lawrence Academy, Groton, Mass. It is the Lawrence Academy Spartan 6 and the Pomfret Griffins 3. For Daniel McAuliffe on camera and all my ratty friends here at LA, my name is Sam Feely, reminding you forever and always, freelance isn't free. Thanks for tuning in. Fresh for 2023. Suck us. Love you, Katrina. Party hard, Caitlin. See you all in a bit for Cushing and Holderness.